Hey, Jason here from Theme Punch. So today we're going to talk about how you can convert your default WordPress galleries into essential grids automatically. And with the new 2.1 update, you can do this globally or you can also still do this individually for any given gallery. So what I mean by default WordPress gallery is if you head into one of your pages and you just click this add media button here and then click create gallery, selected some images, and with just a few simple steps, we have our default WordPress gallery here. And we can view what this looks like on the front end. It's basically some thumbnails with some titles. So what we want to do is convert this here into an essential grid automatically. So first we're just going to convert a single gallery. And to do that, all we need is one essential grid to use as basically the settings template. So if I head into create no essential grid, and just give it a name and an alias and then save the grid. Now that we have this grid here, we can head back to our page. If we just reload the page here, a really easy way of doing this is if we just head over to text and I'm just going to get rid of this for now, head back into visual and then Essential Grid Shortcode Creator. I'm going to select this, and now my new grid is going to be available from the drop-down here. And this automatically creates an Essential Grid Shortcode for the grid that we just created. So now I'm going to head back to the Text tab. And what we want to do is we want to stick the WordPress Media Gallery Shortcode right in between this Essential Grid Shortcode here. So to do that, I'm just going to create a new line here, then click Add Media create gallery and here we can just select the images we want to add create new gallery insert gallery and update and now we should have this converted to an essential grid it's very very cool so basically the grid that we created is our settings template and then the source is the gallery so for the settings template, we can go ahead and adjust any of the settings here. So you can see maybe this is too many items here. So maybe we just want to bump this down to three for the columns. And now we can see we have columns of three. We could add pagination. Could do a lot of things to make this grid look really, really nice. And then, of course, if we wanted to adjust any of it, if we head back to the Visual tab, we can see our gallery is right here. We can select it. I can click Edit. I can remove something from the gallery. Click Update Gallery, update the page. And because it's still wrapped inside this Essential Grid shortcode, it still displays as an Essential Grid. OK, so the next new option with version 2.1 is we can convert our default WordPress galleries automatically without the need to wrap them in an Essential Grid shortcode. So this is really, really cool for, let's say that you had a client, you wanted to just set them up with something super easy to use and convert your default WordPress galleries into beautiful Essential Grids. So you can just go ahead and create a gallery normally. So let's unwrap it here. And here you can see we have our gallery. And let's just test that. Okay, now we have our basic gallery again. So next I'm going to head into the Essential Grid Global Settings. And you need at least one grid created to use as the settings template. So we have that here with My Grid. And if we head into the Global Settings now, for WordPress Gallery Default Grid, I can change this from Off to My Grid. And then if we click Save Settings, I head back to the front end, we should see this is automatically created now, which is really, really cool. So when doing this, there are some special options. So if we go ahead and click Edit Gallery, you can see now there's these extra essential grid settings here. And I can choose a grid to use as a settings template. So let's say I had multiple grids, I could choose a different one if I had another grid available. Or for custom settings here, I can choose Enable, and then for the custom settings, I can go ahead and I can change a lot of different things here. Let's see, I can change the grid skin, 
How about we change this maybe to Henry Harrison, then click Update Gallery. And let's just go ahead and see what this looks like on the front end now. And here you see we have a completely different skin for our gallery. How cool is that? Okay, so lastly, I just want to talk about some skin options when using this option of converting your WordPress default galleries to essential grids. So right now for the skin, we just basically have the title and then this is just a generic link. And so what we can do is we can convert this link to a lightbox link and we can open the image inside a lightbox and we can also add the image's description here as well. So what I mean by description, if we head back into the gallery here and we just select one of these images right here you can see there's a title and then also a caption so we can add both of these right in here inside the skins so right now we have the title added but we also want to add the caption so to do that let's head over to our item skin editor and we're using Henry Harrison which is this one right here so let's click edit skin and now let's go ahead and drag something from the text tab down here maybe white capital 13 drag it right underneath the title here and what we want to do for this is change the source element to excerpt and that will be the images caption so if we just save this real quick reload it on the front end we should now have a title and a caption really cool so we still need to convert this to a lightbox link as well so let's go ahead and do that real quick we head back to the skin editor and we select this item right here and then head over to link seo you can change this from link to post to link to lightbox and then automatically we should be able to open these images inside the light box. Sweet. Okay, so let's head over to the grids settings again and let's adjust the light box settings. So over in the light box tab, if we just scroll down, we can change the gallery mode from single mode to all items. So maybe for maximum width, we choose 900 and then maximum height, maybe 500. We can save this and now if we test this again we should have a nice light box gallery here we go you can see we have arrows on the left and right hand side we can cycle through all of the images here so cool we've basically just converted our default wordpress gallery into an essential grid with its own special light box gallery so the last thing i want to show you is a special trick that you can use to set up a custom link for any of these items. Maybe we want to send the user to a specific web page when they click on the image's title. So to set that up, what we can do is we can utilize one of the two metadata options that we have available for the gallery. And basically what that is, is we have our title and we have our caption. So Island on the Beach here. Let's say that we use the caption metadata and we enter a URL in here. Okay, so update gallery. And next, let's head back over to the item skin editor. And what we can do is we can get rid of this excerpt element that we added before. And for the title here, over in the source, instead of this just being the regular title, what we can do is we can head over to text HTML and we can add our own hyperlink and we're just going to add the metadata from the image itself so we've got our regular tag here and then i'm going to choose a meta option excerpt is where we entered the url i'm going to stick that inside the here if attribute and then for the actual text we're just going to use the title again so we'll use this meta handle right here and let's stick that as our hyperlinks text save the skin now and now this is hyperlinked to the custom url that i entered and you can see that now takes me to themepunch.com and so another way of managing this is right from the media tab right over here let's see seascape view caption i have my custom url in there and now with this special item skin trick I have officially hyperlinked this. 
Okay, so that's an introduction to using Essential Grid for your default WordPress galleries. We have some more tutorials coming for the 2.1 update. We've got a lot of great features on the way. I hope you guys are excited, and I will see you very soon. Thanks for watching.